Nice. I'm sorry, no food for you. And <laughs> 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 <Yeah>, no food. <laughs> Morning, guys. Morning. Uh, just setting off for Arle now, which is a city about half an hour away from where we're staying. So we'll get going and see you guys there. We're Jake and Rebecca. Fresh out of university, we've recently bought our first home together in the form of a 1992 Aldis Auto Quest 320, or as we like to call her, Jolie. After many years of being in education and part-time work, we're now taking full advantage of our newfound freedom by travelling the world in our roaming home. So join us for season one as we escape the British weather and explore France, Spain and Portugal for the next three months. Made it to Arle, parked up the van, and one of the very, very few downsides of van life is that when you park the van in a city, when you park the van anywhere, you have a slight bit of anxiety. It's kind of it's like leaving your child. Yeah. But even more so in the city, obviously, it's like it's just a di different atmosphere to when you're parking it in like the countryside, and there's a lot of people around. And I don't know, you just get, you just have this like, this anxiety the whole time you're out. It's just a case of being smart about it. So we managed to find a car park that's kind of like, pretty central. Like from mm -hmm. the amphitheater to where we're going now is like less than 10 minute walk away. Yeah. So it's really quite central, but it, it doesn't stop you from having these little things in your head that you're like, yeah. oh, will it be all right, will it not, you know? But that's why we carry like everything with us. Cause you've got to, yeah. you know, Preparation is key, isn't it, at the end yeah. of the day, so. But, like, it's not just a case of, like, we're leaving our vehicle, we're leaving our home yeah. in an unfamiliar place. So that's one of the very, very few downsides. Mm -hmm. I think it's something that you just get used to, like, we've been doing this for a month now, and I suppose this is still quite so new, days. yeah. Like, it might feel like we've been doing this for a long time, but we're really not in the grand scheme of things, so it's just kind of getting used to it and being more comfortable with it, so. But anyway, Onwards to the amphitheatre. Yes. <laughs> Made it to our amphitheatre. Turns out we've been pronouncing it wrong the whole time, so apologies for that. It's not Arle, it's Arl. <laughs> so Arl Amphitheatre is a Roman amphitheatre. Um, I'm probably the most prominent tourist attraction in this city. It was built to provide entertainment for chariot races and bloody hand-to-hand -hand battles, but nowadays it's more used for bullfighting and... Like concerts and theatre productions and stuff like that. Yeah. So we haven't gone in because we don't want to condone bullfighting at all. We don't agree with it. But it's got a nice architecture, so we just wanted to come and see that, even if we're not going inside. Behind us is a cafe that was made famous by the artist Vincent van Gogh. Uh, in his oil painting in mid-September 1888 called the Cafe Terrace at Night. At night. Yeah. But it doesn't look anything like it did in the painting, so it doesn't, you can't, it's not immediate that that's the painting, that's the place that is in the painting. But yeah. But when you look at the painting and look back, you can tell like at night it would be. It's it? pretty cool. Yeah. Good. 
worry for nothing, <laughs> as per usual. Uh, nice short and sweet trip to Arles, I think. We managed to um, squeeze what we wanted to get done in in the time that it's free to park here. Which is, which is always a plus. Yeah, saving some money. Back to the farm. Back to the farm. <laughs> After leaving the farm, we made our way to Salon d'Aigues Mortes, a salt marsh known for its pink lakes. We were aiming to catch the 11.30 train tour. We missed the train. We missed the train. <laughs> <laughs> we literally got here as it ended, like, just about finishing off, like, packing the van down to get out, and then it was leaving, wasn't it? So it's 11.30 now, and the next one's at 2. So we got some time to kill now. So we're gonna go to the supermarket. <laughs> yeah. Quick super you run since we missed the train. Gotta kill some time and stock up on our supplies, eh? Lovely day for it. I think a super you is like. How inconsiderate. <laughs> I think a super you is like our. Asda. Asda, Tesco, all the rest. Generic. The generic one, so. Just gotta get the essentials. Shopping done. Back to the Pink Lake train. <laughs> <laughs> uh, We've been stupid. <laughs> no. I didn't realise that you, that you have to, it's kind of first come first serve and it's busier than expected today, so. So the next, the next train is at four <laughs> and it's two o'clock. We've been waiting since half eleven. We should have got really in hindsight, we should have got the tickets then, like before we left. But anyway. It's fine. Silver linings might be nicer light. Who knows? Who and knows? also, this is another plus to van life. Our house is right there. Yeah, we're just gonna like, chill in the house <laughs> for a bit, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> we're not, we, there's no loss for us, is there? Take three. Rebecca's had a little snooze. Feels like groggy now. I've just been chilling. So. Oh, unfortunately. The clouds have come, so it might not be any sunset, but I'm sure it's still going to be. Yeah, I'm sure it's pretty still great. Be anything <laughs> anyway, so let's just hope the rain holds off. Yeah, I mean we're in a we're in a train, and it's like a covered train. Yeah, I'm still very excited. Yeah, I'm still quite excited. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to look at it. Weird. <laughs> I can confirm it's salty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's salty, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, the keys! The keys! That was a bit of a disappointment, wasn't it? Yeah, I won't lie to you, the pink lakes weren't very pink. No, whether it's because it's cloudy or time of year, whatever it was, it was pretty <laughs> The flamingos were cool. It's cool to see flamingos out in the wild. Yeah, the flamingos were really, really, really pretty. Yeah, they were cute, but it was a shame because on the train you couldn't stop, could you? So obviously, like, I mean, we kind of knew that anyway, but... And also, the um, the tour guide only spoke French, so we didn't have the foggiest clue what was going what on. What was going on, really. He could have been saying absolutely anything, and we wouldn't have had a clue. No. But we've got one more thing planned while we're in Camargue National Park. So... Fingers crossed the weather's nice tomorrow because it's just started to rain. Yeah. So... I mean, either way, we're still going to go in and explore that tomorrow. And they've got wild horses and flamingos mm -hmm. and so much wildlife. And so stay optimistic for stay that, Stay optimistic for that. We've been in the van, back in the van for a, a 
few hours because the weather took a turn for the worse and we just can't seem to escape these thunderstorms. <laughs> they seem I think we're to attracting be following them. us, yeah. yeah. Um, but the rain's re eased off now, so we're going to go to the Tamag National Park, but the, the place that we're going to is called the Ornith Orn Ornithological Park of Pont de Gau. I've probably just completely butchered that, <laughs> but it's an animal park and it's basically where you get to see all of the flamingos and the wild horses and there's beavers around there and all sorts, so... Well excited. Yeah, hopefully the weather stays dry at least for the next hour or so. I mean, I see a little bit of sun, so we might be lucky. Fingers crossed. Keeping them positive vibes going. Yeah. <laughs> Flamingos. It's really cool. It is really cool. And they're all just open, aren't they? Like these guys are all open. Yeah. Cute. Like the other day we were a little bit disappointed after doing Oh there's more over there! I know there's absolutely loads of them everywhere. Yeah, like they were so far away when we did that pink lake tour thing the other day. But like <laughs> they're literally there right there. It's so cool to see. species of flamingos in the world and the ones that live here in Kamag are the greater flamingo. As you can probably hear they're noisy buggers um, and this is because they're considered social birds and their cry is a means of creating a social link. So it's just a way that they communicate with each other. And that ends our time in Camargue. Uh, not a bad way to finish, no. with all the flamingos and wildlife. And It's been like a slightly different experience to anywhere else that we've been to in France so far, so it's been yeah. really nice. It's been really cool to see like the local wildlife. And it's nice to have a bit of a change of our week, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, heading back to the coast now. Naturally. Naturally. <laughs> we just seem to naturally gravitate towards the coast. Yeah. Um, so this is where we're going to leave you for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next week. See you guys next week. Au revoir. Au revoir.